This question asks us to determine whether or not this reaction is a redox reaction and to prove that using oxidation numbers. Let's look at the oxidation numbers of the carbon and the two bromines in this reaction. I've designated one bromine A and the other bromine B, and we'll use that information to determine whether or not this is a redox reaction. Our calculation for oxidation number is the number of valence electrons the atom wants in its neutral ground state minus the number of electrons it owns in this particular structure. Let's start with carbon. Carbon, uh, the how many electrons that carbon owns depends on the electronegativity of the, bond, of the atom it's bonded to. So when carbon is bonded with carbon, those two have the same electronegativity, so the two electrons in that bond are shared uh, one electron per atom. Carbon is more electronegative than hydrogen, so it is pulling more electron density towards itself, so it owns both of the electrons in a carbon-hydrogen bond. This carbon then owns both of the electrons in the carbon-hydrogen bonds and one electron in each of the carbon-carbon bonds. So carbon wants four electrons in its neutral ground state configuration, and it owns one, two, three, four, five, six electrons in this molecule. So the oxidation number for this carbon in the reagents is minus two. This carbon is at the minus two oxidation states in the reagents. Bromine A, uh, bromine wants seven electrons in its neutral ground state configuration. It owns all the lone pairs and it's bonded to another bromine, so it owns half of those electrons. So it owns seven electrons here. So bromine starts out in the reagent side at the zero oxidation level. The other bromine is actually gonna end up being the same. It wants seven and it owns seven as well. So both bromines start out at the zero oxidation level. Looking at the products, the carbon owns half of the electrons in the carbon-carbon bond. They have the same electronegativity. All of the electrons in the carbon-hydrogen bond, carbon is more electronegative than hydrogen, but it owns none of the electrons in the carbon-bromine bond. Bromine is more electronegative than carbon. So it owns half of the carbon-carbon bonding electrons, none of the carbon-bromine bond, and both of the carbon-hydrogen bonds. So it wants four electrons in its neutral ground state, and it owns four electrons in this molecule. So in the end, this carbon is now at the zero oxidation level. Bromine A owns both of the electrons in the carbon-bromine bond, so and, and all of the lone pairs. So it wants seven electrons in its neutral ground state configuration, and now it owns eight. Bromine is now at the negative one oxidation state. The bromine in the HBr byproduct owns both electrons in the hydrogen bromine bond. Bromine is more electronegative than hydrogen. So it owns all of the lone pairs and both electrons in the bond. It wants seven electrons in its neutral ground state configuration and it owns eight. So it is also at the negative one oxidation level. Carbon has lost two electrons in order to uh, go from the negative two oxidation level to the zero oxidation level. Bromine has gained one electron to go from zero to negative one. This does involve the loss and gain of electrons. So yes, this particular reaction is a redox reaction. Specifically, this carbon is being oxidized and the bromines are being reduced.